All right, people, welcome, welcome again to MG Sports TV. Happy to have you guys here. Um, it is another one. This is actually the Jamaica Premier League preview show. <clears throat> and I have my bit of Seamus here drinking with me. Hmm? As you guys know, since I've introduced Seamus in my diet, <laughs> I have been way more energetic, um, energized, a lot of energy. It's all about energy, people. Seamus, people, I'm telling you, all about energy. So, Hopefully, guys, are having a good day. It is Friday. It is Friday, people. Friday, Friday, Friday. The end of another week. Unfortunately, the good thing is that the week has ended. The bad thing is that we're getting older as the days go by. <laughs> we're getting older, people. As the days goes by, we are getting pretty older. Anyways, people, please do smash that like button as you come in. Please hit the subscribe button as well if you're here for the first time. If you're not getting the notification, I would advise you to <clears throat> unsubscribe, resubscribe, and turn on the bell. Unsubscribe, resubscribe, and turn on the bell. There's a link. There's a link in the comment section. I'm going to show you the purpose of that link, actually. Let me show you the purpose of that link. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is that? Good. Let me show the purpose of, of that link, people. So, we're trying to acquire this camera. This is the reason, people. This is the reason for the link. Um, we're to acquire this camera, people. So, most definitely. Why why me, me battery charger gone? Change your battery pack. What the heck? Schoolboy error. <laughs> real, real schoolboy error, people. My sincere apologies. That's like me making a back pass in an empty in, and the goalkeeper is not in the goal. It's not, it's not positioned properly in the goal. And yeah. Just making a random back pass and not looking. <coughs> schoolboy error, people. School real, real schoolboy error. Real, real schoolboy error. Yeah, so now if I set up a battery now, let me see. What me can plug out? What can I plug out? Can I plug out laptop? Yeah. Now I have my space here, so. Mm hmm. I'm plugging up here, so do Sound. Oh, what plugging up here, so? All right, my apologies, people. <clears throat> my sincere apologies about that. Um, as you can see, as I said, people, some real, real schoolboy error that be. Um, I don't know why I never done, done the necessary before, <laughs> before coming on. That should have been the case. All right, so we are back to business now. And we're here to discuss the Premier League, people, the Jamaica Premier League review show. Um, as I said, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time. Big up. A lot of persons here, no likes. A lot of persons here, no like. Marcus Masai Gav said, the league is getting any better with all the experience and returning ballers that return back to, they bring in um, great to the bring in great to the JPL people. All right, first of all, um, over 30 persons watching and there's only seven likes. Please, let's get the like up to 30. Let's get it up to 30. All you got to do is close the comment section. Hit the like. The Premier League, he's getting, I think, it's over duration of time period. It has been getting um significantly better over the time period. I do believe that where is that right now? It's, a, it's, it's in a far better position than where it was maybe two, three years ago. Equality, development, um, professionalism, all of these things are really, really impactful. Now, with these players coming in, I do believe that that's going to lift the level of each individual team. I 100% believe that will be the case. Other than that, that's how it is. Um, Fresh God, big up, massive respect. You know, Alba said, um, when is Portmore next game? Portmore will be playing this weekend. We'll be getting to that. Salt Cry, big up. Um, Karoom, Karoom, big up as well. 
people get the like to 30 now people please you know so we just start but bring the like up people smash the like button bring it up um as you can see me start off bad so let me give a shout out you know what let me i won't get into that later in the stream all right you know what let me let me you know shout out to our, our sponsors people sub sports check them out reggae boy jersey all uh, gears and equipments um for our sports any sports you play you can get it on arm arm wrap um medication any little thing re-sporting you will get it at sub sport all right so six minutes wasted basically just doing a lot of introduction let's get to the meat of the matter let's get to the important aspect of things people now this year as you can see this was this is a portmore united team this is a portmore united team people um and this has been a team i do believe that unfortunately despite despite all the the the, the firepower despite all the firepower let me make it bigger so you guys can see the names this is the Portmore United team, people. Making it bigger so you guys can see the name. Um, in goal, you have Benjamin Williams, uh, who is a bit off form this, so, so far this season. You can tell from his delivery. He's one of those keepers, really good ball at his feet. And it, 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 his deliveries are not the best so far this season. In the defense line, we have Rudolf Austin, Stephen Young, um, Alvin, um, Alvinus Myers, and Gawain Austin. So that is the back four. I think Austin, Gawain Austin right back, um, Stephen Young left back, and Myers and um, I think Myers and Austin centre back pairing. Is it Myers and Austin centre back pairing? No, my apologies. Gawain and Rudolph are the centre back pairing. Stephen Young into the left hand side. Alvin so left back, left Alvin, um, Stephen Young left back, and um, Myers right back. I think that was it. I think that was it. That, that was the formation. Hopefully, me not get it wrong. Hopefully, hopefully me not get it wrong. People, continue to smash the like button. Um, Fresh God said, massive growth of the channel. 22.9k. Thanks for your support. Keep on supporting MG Sports TV by subscribing. Um, Fresh God said, one humble lion. Uh, Fresh God, when I go on good, me not lie. Humble lion look really serious this, this season. Humble lion look really, really serious this season in the midfield now we have um captain sigil knight um of lester joseph lama walker no a, a russell there left back you are going back three a back three put more use people my apologies a back three they use uh back three of rudolph steven and and rudolph steven and i think austin gawain rudolph austin steven young gawain austin right wing back would have been myers and left wing back was Rossoy. And in the midfield was Joseph and Sigil Knight. In front of them, we had Alex Marshall, Satchwell, and Lamar Walker. Now, that front line of Satchwell, Alex Marshall, and Lamar Walker, let me tell you something, people. Portmore United is my team, and I have to be honest with this one. I strongly believe that with a front line like that, a throw like that, you must be guaranteed I'm delivering at least minimum a goal per game. You can't, at least albeit it's the first game for, for, for Walker, in which he looked really, really good, but Alex Marshall has been playing so far, Satchel has been playing, so I'd expect, I would really expect to see a goal per game from at least one of three. The person who's actually delivering the goals are Rossoy, which is playing at the left wing back, sometime left back position. And left wing back, but most of the time he's kind of high. But I'm expecting in the next game, and I do believe that everyone should be bedding already, understand what the coach was, understand the coach system, because only two additions so far to the team. Um, three, let me say, and that would be the front line. Satchwell recently joined after school football season completed. Alex Marshall recently joined as well. Um, Rossoy, uh, not Rossoy, um, Walker recently joined as well. So these are the three, three, three players. Now, they would have gotten one week because they would have seen how the team played with the front three. They would have gotten one week of training and preparation to see how best, so Philip Williams would have gotten that, to see how best to see how best he can 
facilitate these three players to delivering the numbers. People, that front three, Satchwell, Walker, and Marshall, that's a dangerous front three. Can you imagine a, a Veer United with that front with that front line? A Veer United or a Chopperton with that front line. Veer or Chopperton. Chopperton who are play good, but they're not scoring up a goal. Veer playing good as well, not scoring up a goal. So imagine those teams, these two teams, with a front line like that. Just imagine. Let me use, use Chapleton. Let me use Chapleton because Chapleton I play really good football. <laughs> they might play some really, really good football, some creative midfielder. But the strikers didn't they they score. But imagine if Chapleton Maroons had a front three of Marshall, Lamar Walker, and Satchwell. Me can tell you, goal, goals are score. Because when you watch the Chapleton versus Tivoli match, the amount of times, the amount of time with Chapleton really really rip through Tivoli pull them to pieces and the strikers then just the, the front man just can't put it away we don't like game and look at the two goals in the score goal not tra two transition goal score but what i'm saying is they create too much chance for not score um so christ said the front players them need good service that is true um andre ireland said seagull knight is a creative midfielder with in when you search enough Lamar Walker, he'll do more, I'm sure. The thing is, I did people, the, the game is on my channel. Go and rewatch it for yourself. I didn't see a lot of them, a lot of creating of chances. I did see Lamar Walker trying to retain possession in the midfield, trying to do a lot of things. I saw Alex Marshall run at them, but that 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 level of that level of link up play in between the lines, putting the ball through the, through the lines, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. When you see um, or oh, on it push forward and it push forward with a hit me mean with a high threat level on it of a high a significantly high threat level um it doesn't matter who they're using it could be marlon allen um per, well personally push forward so what marlon allen fabian reed who else flip on the next next wing um well, maybe my me, me, me brain not really pick up right now. Um, good, me, me, no. Marlon Allen, Deacon. Yeah, Marlon Allen, Deacon, Shea Smith, Gotchi, National, Jaim Thomas. So that's four players. When these players are pushed forward, you are in problem. You are in problem, people. Me tell you, you are in problem. These players, they attack so fast so aggressive with such lethal force you have to stop them from hurling all right so this time around now i'm expecting as we send the people don't and the bash my bash put more put more on my team but i'm expecting a lot more from them so far this season i want let me, 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 me go have a look on the stats i want to have a look me have, me can have a look on the stats people three six five score so they are not doing well this season. They are not doing this um, well this season. Mm. Jamaica Premier League standings. Let's have a look at the standings. So Portmore United, they are in eighth position. Scored twelve goals. Twelve goals. Now the the thing is, you know, they are basically just. Four points off top six, so that's two wins and them back into the top six mixture. But they would have to assume that the teams in front of them would have lost as well. So you can't really go off of that assumption. <laughs> you can't really go off of that assumption. But my the metrics, the underlining metrics for Portmore United people. Let me see if you guys are seeing it good. Yeah, you guys are actually seeing it quite quite good. The underlining metrics people for Portmore United. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys. Let me show it to you guys. Look at the run of form. I'm going to bring it across. When I look at the run, the run of form, the last couple of games that they have played. Just applying a bit of pressure on, on Mr. Philip Williams, you know? I know support more of my team and I know if you are relishing at the bottom of my team for so long. Good. So look, I want to look at now, people. Look at the underlying metrics. 
Last eight and um, five and a half games, we lost the Humble Lions 1-0, we drew the Warthouse 1-1, we drew the Mull Lions 1-1, we drew the Montego Bay 1-1, and then we lost to Arnett Garden 2-1. That's a poor enough farm, you know? Really, really poor enough farm, you know? Now, <clears throat> we lose three games so far this season, draw nine games, and we lost to Arnett Garden 2-1. Now, we lose three games so far this season, draw nine, and we only win three. I will draw the most games so far this season. We have drawn most games so far this season. Can't really that that can't work. Um, have to do better. Have to have to do better than, than, than that people. Have to do better than that. Um, no, we have played fifteen games, only scored twelve goals, and conceded eleven. Can't score twelve goals in fifteen games. You can't. If you want to to be a title winning team, the minimum average goal you're supposed to score per game is. Two. Sometimes some people say two point five. Big up, Shavan. Big up. Massive respect, my bro. Some people say two point five. So you're off in, you're off in the region, the guys. Smash the like button, please. You're off in the region. Um, then they said so. Phil coach Portmore and stats. And stats Millie bring for two. Can can. <laughs> Nandez, <laughs> what Nandez? A Charlie Bond, me go. A Charlie Bond and my team. I rate the stats team because they're bad, they can't play ball. <laughs> it's just that, surprisingly, the team of me support, which is Portmore United, is the same coach from stats, coach Portmore United. I can't, can't nothing about that, Nandes. There's nothing we can do about that. You know. It was Lenny. No, my apologies, it wasn't Lenny. Lenny from last year. My apologies, a long time in the day. But I say go. I said Gonandes. <laughs> because they're from last year. Um Jason Gunnar said oh Williams played the front three in the last match. Alright, so basically imp of Alex Marshall wide, Alex Marshall wide, Satchel wide, Lamar Walker play up start up front, but him drop central as a creator, as a creative midfielder. And drop central as a creative midfielder. So it's, it's like a 3 5 2. Something like something like, it's like a 3 5 2. With Lamar Walker just behind the two strikers of Marshall and Satchel. But the problem that I have with that is Lamar Walker goal scorer, Satchel a goal scorer, Marshall is a goal scorer, but they are not pure bread strikers. They are not pure bread strikers. Alright, look at the teams. Let me bring them back on the table now. Look at the teams who have pure. Bread striker. Look at all the teams who have pure bread strikers. Mount Pleasant, Chivante Stewart, Arnett, Marlon Allen, um, Fabian Reed, Umbland. Um, what name man? Clennan, 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 I think a Clennan. Even though Clennan has scored up a goal, but in cast defense, so much problem. In cast defense, so much problem. So they don't have these teams have pure base strikers. Um Aberview don't have a well Aberview have a pure base striker. Uh, not a, um Timoy Um Mullins, I think it's Mullins. And Timoy. When uh, Timoy, when you again man? Timoy, 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 Timoy. Ooh. We know Mullins and Lewis. Mullins and Lewis. Dumbo Holland now is one of the teams who has them have too much striker apparently. Then um Falco. Um Stephen Barnett, Falco, Stephen Barnett, McGregor. Who else? They have more striker, you know. But they're not, they're not the striker, they're not score. One, they're not score. I think I one left. Waterhouse, no. Well, Waterhouse, main striker. Bradford. Bradford is not even a pure bridge striker, neither. Bradford's not a pure bridge striker. So, you, you, as you can see, as you, as you dwindle right down, I think out of the lot who are, who are struggle. I think Dumbo Holin would have the most purebred strikers who have struggled. Dumbo Holin. They don't have the most purebred striker who have struggled. Uh, Williams. Tim R. Lewis, Steve Williams. Um, Gray. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Devry Gray. Um, Colorado Fodder. Uh, Lawrence. I feel, like, I feel like Lawrence will just come back. Alberview and struggle. Yeah, and Alberview start off the league. Good, but they must struggle. Dylan said Jason Wright. Oh no, that's a Mullins, man. That's a Mullins. But me I say, what I'm saying is that for 
Port Marine United. Port Marine United don't have a purebred striker. If you, if they're going to play with a purebred striker, it would definitely mean that you have to get a lot more action from the midfield. Because the midfield have to, have to go compensate for the striker lack of activity. So maybe that's one of the reasons why you would drop Lamar Walker into the central zone. Could be that one of the reasons. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm waiting to see Lamar Walker on a more, a more luscious pitch. Highly anticipating to see Lamar Walker on a more luscious pitch. Lamar Walker. So, this weekend, let me see where they might play. Where Portmore play this weekend? Um, a Monday Night Football Portmore play? Chapter Maroons versus Cavaliers. No, man. Well, on they? No. Oh, that's a run. run wrong, wrong, wrong fiction I look on. So it's a Sunday match, it's a 26 then Monday. So Portmore now nah, play this weekend. Oh, what? Georgia? What's going on here? So they now nah, play until around 17. They now play the Monday night football fixtures. Oh, so this is actually a rest week for Portmore United. Alright. What me I talk about? Hey, I'm mad man. Mad me mad. See ya. <laughs> what me I talk about? What me which rest week? Um, head to head versus Veer. Which one do I play? Wembley. Match will go play down at Wembley, people. Match will be played down by Wembley. Match will be played down by Wembley. Veer them I play. So, definitely want to see what that, oh, that, 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 that the match I got set up. Um, over on it. Or oh, Romario Lawrence. Oh, Tevin Scott. Yes, Tevin, but. Nah, I get that from Tevin. I don't know what I'm going with Tevin. And Marco said, military probably some ball in your program. I said, well, military. <laughs> I chew. Yeah, man. Sometimes I chat some fast, no, Marco. Right, you're going, Marco. Sometimes it's information. You, you, ever, you ever hear the term information overload? Yeah, that happened to me no five time. No five time. Um, Tevin Scott. From, at the start of the season, there was a lot of expectation from Tevin Scott. And the truth is, yeah, fresh God. Um, I don't, miss it. I don't, I don't know if it, if it changed. Uh, what I'm going to do? I'm go on the JPL website. I'm go on the JPL and see if the JPL announced something different. Let me see the fixtures, the Portmore United fixtures. Okay. So, oh, they're going to play. Oh, they're going to double header. But JC. Yeah, fresh God. Up at JC. Double header up at JC. Then I play the early J three o'clock. Chan no, sir. No sir. The double the double header there, JC, I'm um, fresh guard. And a Wembley. My apologies again. Um Yeah, but I'm just bring it up. Uh Marco said, big up my brother military for your dedication and hard work. We appreciate you, my bro. Hundred percent. Remember that thing we talked about last week? What that? What that Gavi? What that? Jason Gunnar said, look like he will have to wait um, another week to see him on the luscious pitch. Yeah, he can't up a JC there. Ah. No, no. Uh, Nana said, I, JP, love of Chapleton. No, them I get beer featured game. <laughs> oh, what's that? What go on feet, Marcus? What go on feet? Let me know what go on feet. Let me know what go on feet now. Um, Luke Boy said better than use George's field there. Better than use George's field. That would be good. Actually, George's field is in good condition. Uh, Nandez, Chapleton, I play some ball. I'm not lie. Chapleton, I play some ball. And this is going to be a good matchup. This is going to be a good matchup. Chapleton, I play some ball. Me I tell you, Nandez, and I. You see, as I say, imagine Chapleton Maroons with Walker, Alex Marshall, and Satchel a leading line. Now, so the striker, the striker, they're not good enough, but they're not score. Them now nah score. You can't every time interview, every time I interview Clo Clovis, he consistently talk about scoring the chance, taking the chances. He consistently talk about it. He consistently talk about it. Consistently. Um, Nanny said the thing is, look, George, um, George's field can't hold two thousand seating. That's why. True. Last, last, last weekend up by um, JC Stadium, I, it wasn't a lot of turnout. It wasn't a lot of turnout. Even the Monday Night Football, the turnout never did that bossy. The turnout never did that bossy.
And probably no one they don't want people vandalize the school. <laughs> Guys, smash the like button. They don't want people vandalize the school. So that could be a that could be a case. Alright, so let's jump to the detail, people, the meat of the matter. Let's get into it. First matchup we're gonna look at is Montego Bay versus Malines. Montego Bay versus Malines, people. That's the first matchup we're looking at. Moby versus Malines. So it's a double header down by West Pole Park. Hmm. Jano, sir. I don't go down go down match. What's up? I don't have money if you go so far. I don't have money if you go so far. Hey. Now I go can drive. Unless I travel with another vehicle, travel with a Molines team. I go link, me go link up Brian. I go link up Brian. Brian might if you watch it, show me. Just jump in the comment section and link you up. Travel and travel with your team, go down there. Cause I don't know, say, no, well, maybe, maybe I go stream the game. Maybe I stream the game, but anyways. Westport Park, Falkland match and uh, um, uh, Moby and, and um, Falkland are playing. So two, two home games. Next structure that's actually good still. Where the two home games they meet up at the same time. So you know, necessarily have a travel. So that's actually, actually a good setup. Um, jump over to the head to head section. Alright, so Aaron Campbell, Wagwan for Nick Hugh Daly. Good question. Good question. Nando said, Millie, Satchel injured. No, just something on your hand, man. Satchel want put. Satchel Nani, I'm no food, no man. Satchel Nani, I'm no food, man. I don't know I'm team, man. Satchel Nani, I'm no food. Better go up on a feeding program where man yum some up of food and get big. Cause at the type of player that he is, my whole lamp on the ball. I'm going to dribble, I'm going to take on people, I'm going to try to create. So I'm going to get, they're going to lick him all over the place, man. I'll be a box and kick him out, get, man. So I'm going to have to put on somebody, man. You're too lick a bit, man. He's not, not smart, he's not short, you know, but he's slim, too slim, man. I'm going to put on somebody. I have some food, man. I have some sardines, some caramel dumpling, and some dashing, and cocoa, and them sitting there, man, some tough yam, man. You know, you can't have to send him down to my mother, yeah, down to a man for two weeks. In Andes, I'm going to send him down a mother yard for one two weeks. <laughs> down a mandible, down a far, far bush side of mandible. When they, they might chop them, them for them dumpling, a cat size dumpling. For them yam, a, 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 a cutlass, then take and chop yam and chew in a pot. For them pot, then cook in a. You have one that scrape, no scrape, hug and goat night. <laughs> yeah, man, I've got, I've got to do some of that, man. Um, Aaron Campbell said, Umberland really look good. Yeah, yeah, man, Umberland look good, man. Bull for fight. Them play the whole of passion. Them play a lot of passion. So, for Satchel, I have to bring him down to down 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 my mother's place, a country there. Give him some, make him, make him really eat some food, food, food for, for, for feel, for taste like, and huh? food for look like. Now, look at KFC and, and look at Fart, they were, they were, they were, box juice and, uh, box juice and, they look at, look at foolish, so we can't do nothing. More for mash him up more than anything else. Give him real, real food for eat. You can know what, what, what food, when you ter- use the term food, and, and not food enough, food. <laughs> Upper Ronnie said, Maroons is playing the way I want most teams in Jamaica to play. Yeah, they're playing good. Aaron said, to, to, to me, Humble Lion really had to score, hard to score against. Very, very, Humble Lion and Veer are the two hardest team in the JPL to score against. Humble Lion and Veer are the two hardest team in the JPL to score against. Let me tell you why. Um, Andrew Price is a defensive type of coach. Um, <laughs> he's a defensive type of coach, and um, and um, Veer set set up from from back in a dookie days. Veer set up very very defensively. So if you, if you ever look on if you look on in two teams, them in just call. Let me show you the look on the standings. Let me show you the standings for the teams that can see. So Mount Pleasant can see seven. So let's look at Umblan. Umblan can see nine. And Veer, even though they don't know where they're going to table, so, a nine goal Veer concede. The problem with Veer is they're not scoring a goal. And they're not, if they score, they're not scoring nothing more than one. <laughs> nothing more than one goal to backside. Nothing more than one goal. So, really defensive wise, the three best, the best defensive units in the league Veer, Umbland, and Mount Pleasant. 
And Mount Pleasant, the reason Mount Pleasant, Mount Pleasant is the type of team that retains possession of the ball quite well. So that's one of the reasons why you don't score against them. Fergie is the type of, Fergie, is the type, Fergie and Tapper, well, the philosophy of Fergie keep the ball. I do think that is the same philosophy both him and Tapper are um, acquainted to. Keep the ball, don't lose possession. You, they can't score if they don't have the ball. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. So, if you look at the statistics, it's actually a, a really good statistics for Mount Pleasant. This is actually showing the dominance of Mount Pleasant in the league so far this season. A real, real dominance that is showing. Uh, Andrew Price, I like Ozzy. <laughs> yeah, man, eh? you can't score, man. Nandy said, Millie said, the big ball, I drink back juice. It must, it, 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 hey, if, like how me I drink sea mass and then something there. Nothing my drink then something there. Nothing my drink then something there, Nandez. Um, Aaron Campbell said, them have a lot of experience plus a, pr a price that implements some youngsters. All right, the, 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 the humble and team, that humble and team can win the league. That humble line team that they have right at this present, present moment can win the league. They have one of the most experienced team in the league. Yeah, age. But not just experience age-wise. They're playing very, very good. They're a hard team to break down. All right. Let me show you something. The game, the humble line conceded nine goals. And... The most goals in the concede um, so far this season are like one one goal in my concede per match. Let me look, let me look on it, them, them, them fixtures. Let me look on the fixtures that they have so far this season. Let me see if I bring up them fixtures. Um let me see the overview of online fixtures. No, it not, it not show me. Let me try to find out. Um I try to find out the games they only play so far this season. This is not show me. Let me save this. I got to show me from my phone. I try the app. Most most I'll show me on the app. Let me see. 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 Let Humble Lion. Alright. From the start of this season. Well, from, from February until now. From February, the 26th of February. Oh, wait there. June. Alright. So let me see. Oh, this is the record, everything. In the record, everything people in, in, in have all of the details. Don't have October. This 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 register from October. Yeah, but October the league start back. Of course, October the league start back. Yeah. All right. So three two more lines beat them. Aberview they beat them one one nil. Uh, Umland Cavaliers beat them two one. So that's a five goal. Mount Pleasant beat them one, that's a six, six, six goal. Dumbo will score one upon them seven. Mullen score one upon them eight. So, yeah, man, it, 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 it goes them even the distributor. The biggest defeat they have faced so far this season is, uh, I think, uh, Mon Lines. That, that is the biggest defeat they have faced so far this season. And it's against Mon Lines and a 3-2 they lose. The biggest defeat that they face this season. So, personally, me I go say it again. I believe Umbelan can win the, the, the Jamaica Premier League. I definitely believe so. Um, Kevin, the, um, DFM said, MG, what do you think about um Walsh Portmore? more? Walsh, 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 Walsh. You have to give me the, uh, the name, the, the, the number, man. You have to give me the number. Because most of the time, I don't remember the name. But I me, me me latch on to the number that they wear. Me easy latch on to the number they wear. No fight time, I don't remember the name, but I latch on to the number. Walsh, Walsh. Why do you name sound very familiar, man? 
extremely familiar. Well, more than likely, I'm going to play. But I can't remember the number. Can't remember the number. <laughs> Oh, the striker. Oh, yeah, man. All right. So, um, good striker. He need to work on him finishing. Have to work. Have to work. Have to work on him finishing. Have to work on him finishing. If you want, if you want a little bit, you have, you have whole pen, um, physical power. Lot of power. But you have to work on him finishing. Must work on your finishing. Good striker. But the coach are looking for finishing. As as right now, look on him with a goal to put more United score. Have to work on him finishing. Look, Port Moore United basically changed to a two, a two man up front right now. I go play. Even Tevin Scott never really get him. Uh, never really get Port Moore United no goal right now. Um, Ricardo said a return, a return to Bush League. This is ridiculous. <laughs> MG, we are bringing out the tier two. True juice look like a for them here. Them look well managed and prepared. Yeah, boy. Well, I know some football go still, you know. They look well managed and prepared. Yes, but I uh, know some football go. If go up and if you go do it. Casimir Ibang said Duki is the hardest coach to beat, but he could never coach my club. His style is what we should be looking past. If we want to have an entertaining brand as a league, if we want to attract new fans. Yeah, me agree with you, I say. But look how look much, look much years Mourinho coach coached for. And Diego Simone. <laughs> look much years and Diego and more, more than Diego Simone are coached for. Um, Christopher Irvin said, Man, you wake up and stop dreaming. Win what? <laughs> Vinifa said they're not gonna win it, you know. I said they can win it. They can win it. And don't listen, Christopher. When you play alright, you see when a team like uh, um like Umbline now going at the knockout stages, you don't want a team like Umbline to go in at the knockout stages. It's like Moreno. You know uh, Moreno going at the knockout stages. Why? Because he's hard to beat and he might go in to go play some ugly football to get the result. No matter how your result come, if you even drop 15 players behind the ball, behind, behind the ball in front of the goal, I can tell you a result he might concentrate upon. So you don't want teams with experience and managers with that level of experience and managers with that level of experience to go up against you. You could be more pleasant, you could be cavalier, you could be honest, it don't matter which strike force you have. You do not, if you're playing against a Donovan Doki. <laughs> If you're playing against a Donovan Duki, and um, you make Duki go ahead. <laughs> Game done. <laughs> Game done. Game done. Don't make him go ahead. Game done. Done. Football top player. Football top player. Guys, please do smash the like button, people. Continue to smash the like button. Ian Campbell said, Military, who is the best striker in the JPL currently based on farm? That's Trevante Stewart. Kasha. Uh, Aaron said, um, Price. No, if you win title, too. yeah, yeah, tell him, man. You miss it, you don't know, want him going there, man. You don't know, want him, you don't know, want him enter it. And once him enter, enter night, once he enter in the top six, eh, man. Our coaches, no matter how you play, they will be looking at Umblind because they're going to look on the experience of Umblind have, the passion of Umblind have. Let me tell you, this season, Umblind is a different Umblind. Let me see if you are good while now. They look prepared to, to go all the way this season. They look extremely prepared. Just like how I can say, um, Chapitan played some brilliant football, but they not score, which is a big, big problem. No matter how pretty you play, no matter how you, no matter you look good, but if you not score, you're in problem. If you're not scoring, you are in problem. And that is just the aspect of football. That's just football. That is just how football is. Half a score. So no matter how pretty Chapitan Maroons are play football, you must score. Goals win games. Defense wins you titles. Ah, boy. <laughs> Goals wins the games and defense wins the titles. Alright, so touch on the game, the, the important game there. Um, Shaka Andy said, Bigger Thompson are LP backline enough to. Yeah, true. Robert Smith said, you will see all Duki in a goal himself. <laughs> yeah. Duki, Duki, we are go back and goal a coaching team. <laughs> and show that Rob Smith. You go back and goal a coaching team. Marlon Morgan said, uh, Marlon Morgan said, Duki, this done me boss. It's ego killing 
Simba. <laughs> Kill him. Yeah. I see what I say. I see what I say, but he still a coach and he still a get results. So, I don't know if India is done. Might not be, not be, not, might not be able to top tier there, but he still a get, get him results. Um, um, Kasmari Kas Bank said, we need to follow the Dutch league model, attacking teams with young players with no fear to ship them off. And Umberland coaching staff full of experience. Yeah, they have been there, done that, man. Been there, done that. Aaron comes to Umberland have the best dead ball specialist too. Yeah, Andrew. I've had a good dead ball specialist. Who else? Who else? Who else? Can do it. Austin. Actually, Austin is actually a good dead ball specialist. Austin is actually a very good dead ball specialist. All right. Ian comes said 15 games, 13 goals. I don't remember the assist count right now. Not a lot. I think about three or four assists in the pan. About three or four assists in the pan. I'm fresh God. About three or four assists. Alright, me there 41 minutes now. I'm gonna run through the, the, the predictions them yet. Um so Mobia versus uh, Molines United. Let's have a look and as you can look over to the right hand side, you'll see the cursor moving. Let's have a look. Um played both teams, played 15 games, Moline. Scored 14 goals, conceding 23. That's a significant amount of goals to concede. Montego Bay play, um, scored 9 goals, conceding 19. So basically, the amount of goals they conceding in the same ballpark. Almost similar ballpark as well, the amount of goals scored. Now, um, position on the table, Montego Bay the 10th, Mullines the 11th. If you look at um, uh, Mullines lose 8 games, Moby lose 6 and draw Moby draw five, Molines draw three, both teams won four goals. So this is actually this game set up for a draw. This game of draw print right all over it. Alright, let's look at head to head versus each other. Let's, let's, have, let's have a look at it. So three 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 matchups. Um according to the three matchups, as you can see. Three matches between each other. Mobile won two. Monlines only win one. Mobile defeated in 2022. The, the, the 31st of January last year. Mobile defeated Monlines 4 1. Then Mobile us and the Monlines defeated but Mobile 2 1. That's in April. Um, the 18th of April 2 1. Then Montego Bay beat back. So if be a for it, I go still. If anybody would not be Monlines. <laughs> Based off of other uh, presidents here, but this game looks like a draw game. Look on a recent run. This is uh, a month ago, be a recent farm. Three, three losses and two draw. Then concede one, three, that's four goals, five, eight goals, and concede eight goals in the last five games, only scoring one, two. Last five games for a month ago, be United, they have conceded eight goals. Scoring only two. That's not good. That's not good metrics. <laughs> That's that is not good metric. Ralph Smith said, MG, you know, see um Flemmer get himself in trouble already. Man post a nice piece, a nice pass he made, and the attacker missed a chance. Flemmer capturing it assist. And when my get himself in trouble, I don't mean by or get himself in trouble. Oh. Z-Man said, man, to go be, I go slap, um, I go, I go slip into relegation battle. It depends on what Chapleton and, and Falkland are doing. Um, Aaron Allen, uh, <laughs> Nanda said, Andrew Ward Prowse. <laughs> uh, uh, Andrew, uh, Andrew Vanzi, our, uh, our, uh, what is that? Uh, is it Andrew Vanzi Prowse? Probably, don't know. Um, customer said, I agree, winning will never be out of style, but winning beautiful is more marketable true agree with that 100 percent ian comes the first god um go um good returns i wonder what is goal conversion rate and how old he is about 22 um um Shivanti about 22 um first god comes said goal conversion rate hard to check mg mike can give you that he's 22 in goal return rate um i think him score an average of 0.9 goals per game 0.9 goals per game that's i think another time goal return but nine go um, goals per game. Fifteen games playing upon thirteen. So that's two two goals two goals basically half by. 
So that, that's about 0.9, 0.85, 0.9, the region eh, goals per game. So basically, almost, almost, in average, almost a goal per game. That's him average. Um, as Zeman said, Jason going to start in 22. Oh, okay. Aaron Campbell said, if Anderson did have a better conversion rate, he might have 20 goals already. All right, so the conversion rate is hard, you know. It's hard you know, because... All right, so if you're calling Anderson, I believe how the league set up, it's not like you have a pure... Uh, like last season, now with Atafry Bygrave and um, Wenyam, uh, with a bad midfielder the name, man, from Dumbo Holy, man, bad, bad baller, man, bad, bad baller. Um, past master, man, past master. Christian, yeah, Christian. Bygrave, despite Bygrave scored, um, got leading goal scorer, his conversion rate was not high. His conversion rate was not high. You get a whole lot of chance. You get way more chance than amount of goals when you score. Bygrave gave him a whole lot of chance. A whole lot of goal in game, but that, but that, that, that in score. Now, with um, Trivante, I do see Trivante as a type of striker where he latch up and loose ball and then kind of something there. But you don't get no significant amount of chance like what Mr. Bygrave get last season. I do think him. I do think him have a fairly good con. I do think Chivante have a fairly good conversion rate. I think Chivante have a fairly good conversion rate. Um. Robinson said they wrote an article about it. See if I could find it and send it to you. First guy, the media wasn't happy. Oh wow. Then the place are serious now. <laughs> um, Rob Smith. Then place are serious. Serious, serious, serious. Um, so Fresh God said two one more lines. So Fresh God, I go with more lines with this one. All right, let me look on more lines. Run a farm first of all. Three losses, one draw, one win. All right, so more lines. said them I can't see that amount of goal. The problem we have with more lines is more lines concede in every single game they play. Every single game they play, they concede. So they concede two, four, five, six. Eight. <laughs> See how much has Moby can in the last five games. Much and score. One, three, four, five. So them can see actually a score goal. So, all right, me have to go more lines. I think more lines are win this one then. More lines 2 1. So the first match between Montego B and more lines, I'm going to go. You know, me have to write it down. I'm going to tell you the reason why I write it down. So that's one time. Next, when me have them review show, we can't see what we get correct. Can't see what me get correct. See my predictions, them accurate. Come know so me get the, the Portmore United uh, on it game last weekend. Me get the one the spot on. Spot on. Let me write it down, people. So, Moby. Pen and I work. Oh, go on. So the first, first, first one is. Moby, one, two more lines. That's the first matchup. Next matchup now we have people is Tivoli versus Mount Pleasant. No, no, let me do it in the next, next game I'll play up there as well. Falkland. I go to Falkland um, Umberland. I go to Falkland Umberland. Alright, so fourth position versus 13th place. Fourth position versus 13th place. Falkland? Versus Umber Lion. Alright, so definitely. Falkland in a few couple of games they have, they have been the performance have been a little bit better I would say going forward they have been a little bit better. Um, let me read in the comment section. Big up Mr. United, massive respect. Fresh God said, "Me see it, man, if you learn, for relax, cause this club and coach give him a chance and might not sign him. And Anderson is a player where no make no miss, put him down. Yeah, man, alright. Mentally, Anderson is a good player. Mentally wise, Anderson is a good player." I, I, Alright, so like Trivante now. What I think Trivante have over Anderson, I think Trivante have a more of a 
killer instinct over Anderson. I mean, you no, know, hope YouTube not really spin the word there and make it look like me a chat. No, um, Anderson thinks sometimes when me I watch Anderson, right? I'm hungry for it, you know. I think him to relax, he not demand the ball. Trivante a buffy all the time, him no a horrible position. He want the ball in that position, give him it. Make him, make him fight feet. I'm losing fight back feet. I do think that Anderson, and maybe it could be, with Anderson, it could be coaching. Maybe that's how um, Rudolph Sweet coaches team to be a bit more cautious, a bit more relaxed in how they approach the game. So that could be the, that could be the difference. Whereas Trivante is more hungry. Dog, niam, dog. Hungry, fight, rough. Let me worry it out. Unfortunately, Anderson... That's a something Anderson if add thing game. Anderson if add that little that, 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 that heavy fight by the thing game. So as I said, it could be what the coach want. It could be what the coach want, but definitely I do think that's something that Anderson uh I forgot had team game. And I think if him had him that thing, adding that thing game, he can take it, take him to actually one different level. I think that can take him to a different level. Because if he must score so much goal and it is not that demanding. Imagine when he start demand the ball more. Like one time I watch art. So I look at um Jama League Porto. I watch schoolboy football, right? They have a player named Jama League Porto play for uh, Mannings. Demand the ball, won the ball, score 21 goal. I'm looking at Affleck. When the ball reach him, he take it. He score 21 goal as well. He score 21 goal as well. So two different type of player, two different le two lethal goal scorers. I, I mean, I said, Affleck said, demand the ball, man. Yes, who knows that they didn't till play this and that particular way. But you as a striker, you have to demand the ball. Run all night, channel them. And ball! Give me ball! <laughs> yeah, them little thing there. And that start forcing midfielders them to find you faster, quicker. That put the defense under pressure quicker as well. So these are the, these are the factors. But definitely... I think just that's, that's, that's what I'm, I'm calling Anderson need to add in game. Demanding the ball. Looking a bit more hungry. So even he, see with, with, with Trivante now, even when Trivante have a bad game, it's hard to tell. Because he's a runny channels, he's a, he's a met nice, he's a ball. If he, even if he miss control, he's a fight back. So it's hard, really, really hard to tell. Um, Fresh God said Green never have high conversion with either. True. But Green is, Green is, my master Green is a winger still, so you can't look past that. Let me tell you who have a high conversion rate, but he never get a lot of chances. I think Cephas has a high conversion rate, but he never get you know, so, so, the sufficient amount of chances. Have, Cephas have a high conversion rate, but he never get a lot of chances. Um, last season, Stephen Barnett did have a higher conversion rate as well, but never get a lot of a, a chances as well. Um... Ian Cam said, goals per chance is crucial to determine the potency of a striker. Agree. Um, Luga, big up Luga. Stuart is a very dangerous player in, his, in this league. Him have what it takes to finish on top. I do think so. Um, Aaron said, big big Jason Wright double. So Jason, uh, yeah, Jason Wright probably score. Uh, if Falkland versus Umberland, I can look on it. Comments are move fast. Comments are move fast on me. Uh, Falkland versus, versus Umberland. Let me look at it. Let me look at the statistics. Alright, so one win already for, for, for Falkland. Um, one game they played so far. Umbland defeated Falkland um, 2-0. Umbland reached a run of farm. Three win, one loss. And one draw. The last they have was against league leaders. Mount Pleasant 1-0. I remember that game. And I could tell you, the number 15 from Umbland in the make Sole Makala mud. Not again there. He run rings around the, the defense, the, the, the Mount Pleasant defense. So Falkland now one win in five, and that was against Chapleton Maroon. So look at them of Chapleton Maroon beat um, stick. <laughs> Jude Mount Pleasant, which was a good result. But um the loose dumbo hole in 4-2. The Jude Mount Pleasant. They defeated um Chapleton Maroons 1-0. Then they lose they lost against Vier United. And they drew with Arnett. So as you can see, they start off with a draw against Arnett. Then they lose to Veer, defeat Chapleton. Then they draw with Mount Pleasant, and then they lose to Dumbo Holding. So maybe they can get a win, a next win in line. Um, let me look on them. Well, that is nothing. Nothing else that they look on. 
May I go, go, may I go, go um, Umbelion. I'm going to go Umbelion. Um, Falkland now scoring up a goal as well. Look at look at it. Falkland can see 30 goals. 30 goals are only scored 10. Umbelion can see 9 goal season. <laughs> 9 goal season. I'm going to say Umbelion. Falkland, Falkland can score. That's the thing about them. They can score. Falkland one, uh, one match. So I give them. I think the most score. As an umbeline three, Falkland one, umbeline three. Fal Falkland, I forgot fix up people. Man, tell them, man, they, they, they have a whole power. So Gregor Palmer, whole power you have by your hand. No work by your hand, but we will definitely see uh, what is coming in store for both teams. Next matchup, we have people. We have Tivoli Garden versus. Mount Pleasant. Down. This match is going to be played down by Tivoli. Edward Sierra Complex. Don't know what they want about the place. Things are run nice. Everything good. Everything nice. Everything copacetic. <laughs> yeah. Everything bossy. People look for the cursor there. So we have TG. TG versus... Mount Pleasant. People, I mean, I, mean, I don't do gambling, but I can tell you if you if you if you're a betting person, you'd be smart if you put put in the money pass over the game. Yeah, will be no nothing detail. Um, Luga said Monty Gobia will defeat more lines two one or one nil. Kid, um, Kid Soldier said as a striker, when you could daily farm come back, he might go be the man. Hopefully, if we can, we can, we can find back his farm. But definitely, I'm going to cut some of my weight, though, because Nuku put on a whole lot of weight. So I'm going to hit the gym and put on a whole lot of weight. And never the big, so I don't know how he gets so big. Um, Ian said, so just um, over, start over home. <laughs> uh, Aaron Campbell said, Falkland get enough. Um, maybe 3 or 4 1, 3 0 or 4 1. Lugo said, Falkland get me, uh, get about 3 0. Keith said, put Bailey over the left. Nicholson in the middle. Pars on the right. Ian Campbell. Ah, what about Nicol um, um, Antonio? Yeah, the bench Antonio. Came on roof. All the money. Hey, I'm glad I'm not slick side. I'm not slick side, so I'm glad. Um, um, where, okay. He, Ian said, where would you put roof, Antonio, Jamalo, Bob Reed, and if Hutchinson play? Not sure. Um, so you benching Antonio and Lua. Um, Casimir, Cas um, Casimir said, you can see the purpose in Trivante. He want to be in the national team. And uh, him showing it with his attitude. Yeah, man, my fight, man, my fight. Really, really a fight. Uh, Marcos said, some of the Jamaican players are not confident to either make a pass or get a pass with the opponent close. To, um, and that's from poor technical ability that caused us to turn back the ball from attacking. Fresh guys, said, by the way, MG, you get any information on the link up? No, no, actually, um, you know, so they're not telling me nothing. Nothing I'll know. I'm going to find out, though. Um, Fresh guys, said, true, that would see first. Sherman's got big up. Sub Sports family, thanks for the... The um, JDF and the Juice game, uh, the True Juice game clip. Yeah, man, no problem, man. We're trying our best. We're, 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 we're trying our best. So, I'm doing some work with True Juice. Um... So definitely. And um, the game was live, so you'll be able to see it. Definitely. Um, my production. Okay, okay, okay. Bless up, man. Bless up, bless up. Wicked man burp. Brrr. Fresh as me reach. What question, my bro, about the cup? Key soldier said Bob Reed in the middle. Him can supply Antonio. Can come on. Him really play ball. Oh, I'm good with him when him start. Oh, him really don't play ball good when him start. Low and Hutchins can come on. Come change play. Big up Raymond, big up. What's your thoughts on the youth FA Cup and AT between Arsenal and Cambridge yesterday? Me never watch it. Honestly, me tell you the truth, me never watch it. Uh, me a pen, play a pen, Clarendon up. Big up. Big up Sherman. Um, Keith Soldier said change the game. Uh, yeah, man, they are little 15 boy um, bad boy team not having the end product um, in a him. What up, bro? Me don't know that, boy. A fresh guy said one one draw between Tivoli and Mount Pleasant. I'm mm, telling so don't just go ram. Don't don't don't. But Edward Siago complex is going to don't they go ram people. I'm telling you don't they ram. 
Um, Wicked Man said something dead down at TG. <laughs> Fresh got the body at two, two, two one in the garden. Two out of the garden, get it two one. Asha I gives big up. Yo, military, remember, say you was soldier and a rep JDF team too. <laughs> yeah, I was a soldier, yes. Yeah. Even though I never, never play for JDF though. I never play for, for JDF. One time I was supposed to get the opportunity to go play for JDF. I ended up going one course. That was the course, the jumps course where I can end up playing jump now, side jump and then kind of something there. Um, but I play a whole battalion league and then type of something. Battalion league, company league. No, I think, no, I never play battalion league. Company, most of company league I play. Um, Wicked Man said 15 for Humble Lions in Bud. Um, I have, but I have no in product. Oh, oh, okay, the 15. Oh, yeah, man, in Bud. I say in Bud, you're in If you work on the end product, Aaron Cam said, Man, them are gonna make it, make the ref. Them scared down a garden. <laughs> Frighten the ref. How the JFF team look, um, though, in your eyes? Hey, J the JFF team right now look like they're ready for Premier League. The JFF team look like they're ready for Premier League. The major league are gonna be between racing in the Saint Catching FA side. Alright, I don't know what think about it now. It's hard because I don't see no fighter team them like from the I don't see no fighter parish, the parish major league teams them so it's hard, it's really really hard but the JFF look really really good and look good man, run fit JFF, I said I said the JFF have our number 15 there the JDF, I said I'm talking about JFF the JDF have our number 15 17, my apologies, I clock then call him, tall P bro, <laughs> I am on terrible the man, the man, the man, the man, the wicked of fret. You can tell her right now, you can't go in, you can't walk in enough of the Premier League team. Them. You can't walk in enough of the Premier League team. Them. Wicked Man Burp said, um, I don't believe in a JDF and policy in a the main football in Pyramid. Why? Why, Wicked Man? Why? Why? Jeremy Mitchell said, None of, none of the old players, them, now nah, play. No, man, I'm mostly some younger, fresh youth, man. No old ball in the day, man. I'd be a young, young, fresh youth, man. Um, Ashai Gibbs said 17 years, wicked ball. Yeah, man, wicked man, terrible, man. I can't walk in the Premier League side, man. Uh, Marco said military, man, the drummer. <laughs> yeah, man, we can't play something. We can't play music, man. Casimir Bank said people talking about how police team in the pyramid, they should remember every team with CSK in their name is a military team. Oh, I never know that. I never know that at all. Never know that at all. Didn't know that. Jeremy Mitchell said, look like a, a Russian still keep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Russian still keep, man. My point, yeah. Remember, all right. So, Russian, Russian, Belcher, Russian, Belcher, Wells. Wells, we see that as experience. They know, say, a, a Shangwa coach, Shangwa coach team, same way. But as experienced players, what did they think for a long, long time? Russian and Belcher. Just them two man there. Just them two man there. Um, look it up. Um, yeah man, definitely. Fresh God said Birdman now nah, play a long time. Ooh, I, I hold, no man, no not for not for J not for JDF. Not for JDF Fresh God. Jeremy Mitchell said, yeah man, yeah, me see um my party Belcher um and me and the bad Indian. Um, that's a rugby. Casimir Brown said CSK Moscow, CSK Sofia. You never know that in us, um, um, Casimir. Or Casimir. You never know that at all. Uh, Casimir. Let me say Casimir. Anyways, we can move to the next game now, people. More pleasant. Alright, so, meeting between both teams. We have 11 meetings. As you can see, the most dominant in the last five games would have been since the last five games. Mount Pleasant, one, two. Interesting. So two, so the last five games, people, two wins for Mount Pleasant, two wins for on it, and for Tivoli Garden, one draw. In 2021, go as far as back as 2021, the 6th of 2020, June, Nilal, then this, then October, 5 4. That's 2021, October 5 4. Tivoli beat, um, be Mount Pleasant. Then 2022, that's last year, March, Tivoli beat Mount Pleasant 3-1. Then the last two games were, were for Mount Pleasant, actually. 
And both games look like they were played at Mount Pleasant. Interesting. Both games look like they were played at Mount Pleasant. So both uh, Mount Pleasant defeated Tivoli 4-1. And then again last year, November, defeated them 3-1. So let's go to run a farm between both teams. Mount Pleasant, last five games, they have drawn three games. Um, and, and win two. And it's been a lot of zero. So Vier and George Vier Nilal defeated Umberland 1-0. Defeated Dumbo all in 3 nil. Drew Falkland Nilal. Drew the Aberview Nilal. So they have had two draw in the last meet, last two meetings. Let's have a look at um, Tivoli. Um, they have won two, lose two, draw one. Oof. Unfortunately, I don't have guard the game I play. Think I'm gonna go with the visitors for this one. I'm gonna say Mount Pleasant. I'm right here, so. Tivoli Garden 1, Mount Pleasant 2. Maybe one penalty for Tivoli Garden. A bit of pressure to the referee, you know what I mean? A bit of pressure upon the referee. <laughs> A bit of pressure upon the referee. Um, former European, um, oh, Asha said Mount Pleasant have the baller. Eh, them, um, but him, but them, them not have the coach. Where Tapa go? Well. Top of the league right now with the best metrics, goal scoring, defensive metrics, team in farm, striker in farm. So he's doing very, very well, Ashoy. Maguan good, Ashoy. Um, Burb said, Jake for Umberlands is there. Um, um, Wikiman Burb said, Brother, CSK teams no longer affiliated to those teams and in the communities era. The communist eras players were paid to be the communist era players were paid to be footballers, so them just go play ball in a uh, them free time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. Um, what well, on? I think Jake. No, man. Jake. Jake. I play for. Me never see Jake. Me never see him. I'm on Shango. I show uh wicked member says so my question if JDF I go play JLP how that work where nobody can work and play football how it go um for the soldier them if you get deployed and the ball them if you go know that will work out all right so burp how you going to burp um the, the soldier them will see during the season a strictly football alone them play they, they not get deployed strictly football alone them play right through the season end of the season now and gone back to regular work. At the begin before the season start, them are the regular work. So once so once it is mandated that if the season start March and the mandated then start training in December. So from December and the season are done June. From December to June, strictly football alone them for them, them do. They don't they do no other work. They don't do no other work. Remember saying that they don't get play for play football now. Then they don't get the normal peer. So they only participate because I think back something that money must say they want um the police and soldiers to be a bit more associated with um the communities. And this is a way to do it. Um Lugo said no pleasant should win this game. It is ah, that's a football go at all. TG does not look good in their past couple of games. Yeah, um, and the amount of time Trouble Time Maroons pull them apart. So TG have work for though. Marlon Morgan said Tapa no no good as a coach. All of them are lead the JPL, he's still not good. So if he's not good as a coach, what does that say about the JPL? And what's that, what, what does that say about the other coaches in JPL? So if he's not good as a coach, Marlon, if he's not good as a coach, what happened to the rest of the coaches in the JPL? What else about them? That means that none of them are good then. Because if Tapa not good, then he lead the league. Basically, you're saying none of them are lead no good. Now, man, we have to give credit where credit, where credit is due. He's doing extremely well. He's doing really, really well at this present moment. And something that I have to, I have to give credit to. Must give credit to it, man. Alright, um, let me continue to the next matchup. Move on from that. Next matchup we have Veer versus Portmore United. I did run through that. Um, I think this is an opportunity for Portmore United to get back 
And when it's we when it's, I do think Port Money is gonna beat VR still, but maybe by one nil. I'm, I'm gonna say Port Money United one nil. As we say Port Money United a hard team to beat, but VR not score. VR not VR, I'm say VR hard team to beat, but Port, VR not score. So the wins are it's small, small, small margin. The wins are coming up. Uh, Port Money United only win three games so far this season. Which is not good. The likeliness is that there might be a draw. As uh, uh, look, at the last two games that they have played, as you can see here, where the cursor is at, Portman United versus Vier Nilal, Portman United versus Vier Nilal, and then now uh, the game before that, bit of battering. But look on the run of farms. Oh, Vier actually have a better run of farm. Last last five games for Portman United, three draw, two loses. Um, Vier two wins, one and uh, one draw, two losses. So. Um, with, the, with the new additions that Portmore United have right now, I think I'm going to go in favor of Portmore United for this one. Um, give me a set of people and get a phone call. So just, just got a phone call people all right so let me let me see now next matchup we have on the books is cavaliers versus chapleton tough game for chapleton let me tell you this right away tough tough game for chapleton cavaliers defeated chapleton early so far this season that's when chapleton basically never get them put in right but this time around as you can see look at the recent farm for cavaliers and recent farm for chapleton cavaliers have two wins um two two losses and one draw Chapleton have one low, um, um, three losses, one draw, one win. I I do believe that this is more in favor of Cavaliers. Um, Cavaliers defeated them three nearly last time. I do think it's going to be a closer one though. I'm going to say people in the comment section, drop your predictions. I'm going to say Cavaliers. I'm going to say Cavaliers one nil. No, Chapleton a score goal. They must score goal now. Cavaliers two one. Yeah, me I got to say Chapleton, me I, me I, me I get Cavaliers the one there. Maybe just a little bit ahead. Big up Roger, your mad beat. <laughs> Must wet me asleep. <laughs> um, Young said, we're very much a play, very much a play up by um JC Stadium. Um, Young Jenna Rossi said, Mount Pleasant, I win 2-1. Uh, Mount Pleasant, um, Aaron said, Mount Pleasant, I spent like Chelsea. <laughs> I said, Roger, now, nah, what we could see, what we see now, Roger? We could see now. We could see now. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, one thing, no, Roger, I get, get a whole lot of good feedback from you um, ab ab about you, basically. A lot of people have said, boy, in the re most recent days, yo, your performance has been significantly improved. So them 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 so them I wonder why, you know? Them I wonder how 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 I lead to it. So what the formula? What is the formula? All right. Um. All right. So. Fresh God said Portmore versus VR 1 1. Zeman said VR go win. Fresh God said Game of Play at JC. Lugo said Cavaliers will win 3 1 or 3 0. Fresh God said Cavaliers 2 1. Anderson to score. Anderson need to get back on the goal scoring farm. Um, Wicked Man Burp said, Wicked Man Burp said honestly, I don't believe them fit in at the main pyramid. If it was a cause or inter collegiate, collegiate setup was like in the US, them could have done that, but not in the main footballing pyramid. Where players actually get paid to play football only. But as we said, football alone never play. Football alone never play. So I don't really understand. Truly not understand, but I see, see, see where I come from still. Lugo said this should be an easy point. No points, not easy. Easy points for, for, for Cavaliers. No points, not easy in a Lugo. 
Big up I am I am. Chapleton 2-0. Um Casmar said Ibang uh, Kasmar Ibang said, What if transfer fees for players weren't publicly disclosed? Do you think fans would be more patient? Yes, they would. And because they hear say that clubs spend much, much money for your baller. The man said, No, so you can't spend so much money for baller and then I get result right now. Fresh God said, Anderson scored last week. Yeah, but they need, they need to get back on the consistent form. Lupin Chivante. Every other, every other match, Chivante has scored. Or every match. Wicked Man Burp said, If them have a shoot off club that anybody in the military or police can play for, but you know it's affiliated with the army or national police like CSK. Or the thing is that, you know, the thing is that they can't leave. They can't, they can't leave and go, go play for a different club. Unless them them, them them associate with 3GR, the reserve. It's the only way. Um Guna, the man them not get paid to play football. The man they get paid to play football, them just get paid to be soldiers. Man, I see that the concept. But I say I don't disagree. I, I, I don't disagree. First guy said two box box to box to the score. That's what I expect Chivante to score in this game coming up. Marlon Morgan said the league, leading in the league doesn't mean you are you, a good coach. In, inherently a good coach, good team with chemistry. Yeah. So what did they never did a lead the league last season? You know who I lead the league last season? I want to say that lead the league last season. So you inheriting a good team don't necessarily mean success. You don't, you don't, you don't guarantee success. Not one bit. And we have seen that over and over and over again. Uh, Fresh guys said, so both need to come back to consistent scoring form. Yeah, man, they need to mash up. The 14 goal last few seasons now, they need to break that, man. Mash that up easy. Uh, that, goes to, that, that goes to the semi finals. Um, easy, what, healthy. So, um, yearly. Okay, oh, yeah. Uh, well, I see what I say. But, in the, but leading in the league at this point in time, with all of the metrics now for them favor. No, sir. No, no, that wasn't for them last year. Lugo said, Fresh God, he will score in this game, bro. He's dangerous. Saw him a couple of times so, uh, couple of times so far. I'm going to score. All right, so for that, moving on to the Monday night football games, people. Big games, I would say. First one is Dumbby Holding versus Arborview. Big, big matchup. Big, big matchup. 11 meetings. 11 meetings between both teams. 11 meetings between both teams. So let's go back as far as the last meet. Um, let's go to the run of form. Dumbo holding four wins. Arborview four wins. Three draws. Last win was Arborview. And then uh, was, this is how I set up. Arborview win. Dumbo holding win. Draw. Dumbo holding win. Arborview win. So basically, 2-2. Two, two, one draw. In the last five meetings between both teams. Um, run of form. We have Dumbo holding winning two games. Losing two. Draw one. Same. So both teams are identical with the metrics. Arborview in fifth position, them all in, in sixth position. Um, the, the positive is that Arborview conceded less goal than them all in so far this season, whilst them all in conceding four more goals. Both teams scoring the same amount of goals. Goal difference, four goals difference. Um, performance wise, and we judge it our performance. Which I don't think them um, at fine form at the right time. I think Dumbo Holding has been a bit inconsistent in recent time. Arborview a little bit more consistent than Dumbo. Since getting back uh, uh, um, from the old thing I'm doing a veer. I think Arborview a little bit more consistent. Um, this, this game I'm going to draw people. It's a draw game this. Let me write it. This is a draw game. That'll be a good game, but a draw game. And Dumbo Holden has looked a lot better since the inclusion of the youngsters like um, um, Malachi Douglas and, the, and these players. So they have looked a lot better. Um, Luger said, Fresh God, he will score. I'll just read that. Uh, we need to break back um, the goal scoring, the, the scoring record. Yeah. Um, he needs to. Wicked man brother said, I'm a can bet only where you can join JDF teams unless you turn soldier. And you can develop youth talent if a, a team wants a JDF or police want a player in Kiango. True. 
Yeah, so basically them separate from the pyramid. Me, ag me agree with that. They separate from the pyramid, but they must participate in the pyramid. Um, so you can't get a player, you can't get one of them players. No players can just go join them just like that. So me, me see what you say in that context. Definitely agree with you in that context. Unless they open them door there, then we'd understand. Unless they open them door there. Um Kasmar said football is a human game. The best coaches are not the best um tacticians. The best coaches are the best people, managers. That's why sometimes ugly football win. That's true. That's have a lot to it. And um, Wicked Man Rebel said that's why after the Soviet Union, the, the CSK teams have them teams as independent from the scrutiny from the security forces, but while them still fund it, they fund it and be the owner just the same. Bro, I mean, yeah, yeah, give me a whole heap of knowledge here. Honestly, I'm telling you the truth, I never knew them something. Yeah, yeah teach me basically. <laughs> You're basically teaching me, bro. May I tell you the truth? And these are knowledge well I'm well taken in, in consideration. So me can any debate me can go back in I me can go back in a debate and drop it. So Definitely. Lugas said, all of you uses the ball very well. Dumbaholy makes a lot of mistakes and can concede anytime. I believe all of you will win. Both teams will score. Um, oof. That's a 1-1. One, one. I'm saying I draw a 1-1 one, one, though. Drop your predictions in the comment section. Final match of the game weeks before we close at the closing stages. Final match of the game week. Um, let me give a shout out to our channel members. People, let's give me a shout out to our channel members. Channel members, big up, big up channel members. The originals, also our patrons, Raymond, Austin, Ravan, Bennett, big up. Channel members are the original Zilla, um, German, Swaby, Rose Gold, David Beckham, Feather 5, Black Icon, 40, Kyle Wallace from the Reggae Boys Supporters Club. People, check them out. Type in it for your IG. No, for your, for your, for your, 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 your Google. Reggae Boys Supporters Club, people. And, and follow through with their... Um, um, support them. Support them, people. Support them, please. Um, Lee Bell, Marsden Ricketts, Jamil Winter, and Rolando Kodna. Big up to our channel members. Final matchup, people. Final match we have um, is Anit Garden versus... What else? These games will be played down by Anthony Spalding Sports Complex. Now, we have second place versus seventh. We all know what's going to happen here. <laughs> we saw them last year in this, I think, semi finals. We saw them. No, quarter finals. My apologies. We saw them in the quarter finals. We saw them in the quarterfinals and didn't it didn't work out well for both of them. Um, but this one is interesting. This one is very, very interesting, people. Really, really interesting one. <laughs> Extremely interesting. Anyways, people, let's look at the last one. So Awato, six win on a three. Yeah. Four draws between both teams. So that's 13 meetings between each team. Last five. Let's look at the last run of games for Arnett. They have won four games, drawn one. Water also so just such very inconsistent so far this season. They have won two games, drawn two, lose one. Um, so the last match they have won was against Montego Bay. They defeated Moby 3-0. If you beat Moby 3-0, they have score a goal. But they also lost to Malines United. That's football for you. Um, they drew with Humble Lion, they drew with Portmore United, and they defeated Cavaliers 1-0. On um, it, defeat, um, drew with Falkland, they defeated Arborview, they defeated Tivoli Garden, they defeated Cavaliers, and uh, then they defeated Portmore Port Port United. So some big wins, some huge, huge wins under the Arnett Garden belt. And going to this game, as you can see, the last five matches between both teams, Waterhouse only win one. And draw one. All the other threes are for victories for Arnett Garden. So every aspect of this game is pointing in the direction of the junglist. First God said 2-2 two, two, dumb holding versus Alba View. Me go 1-1. One, one. Um, Asher said when, when Lama and Alex are foul, they, they might play weak. They play, but they play last weekend. Burp said, Casimir, them you use the JFF model, but um, what the point? You don't have a youth team set up. And if Barcelona... Want a JDF player in Congo to better himself and compete at the highest level of football. So true. 
Ashoy gives Marshall played three games already. Lamar played him first last weekend. Junglist them wanna say. A customer said, um, El Ten Hag, El Araba Sporting Club in Egypt use the JDF model, but people also don't like them either. So, yeah. People, the junglist, jungle versus firehouse versus on it. Big, big fire blaze on a, blaze on a, on a jungle this weekend. Honestly, a Monday, Monday night football. Big, big fire a blaze on a jungle for the Monday night football. Big, big fire. Will the fans, I think the fans are going to turn off for this one. I think a lot of fans are turning off for this one. Fire burn. Can this I see thy soul. <laughs> me I tell you me I tell you people for this one people on it versus firehouse so everything I point in the direction of what I'm fire, I'm, I'm on it. The, the statistics don't lie. The metrics don't lie. They don't lie at all. None at all, no lie. And Water scored 14 goals, conceding 10, whilst on it almost double Water's goal with 26, conceding 16, which definitely means that Water's going to score. Water's are going to score. Water's are going to score. And a one time since. What else I got to score, man? Let's see how you come in games. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. So, on the last three games, then concede. Let me see this hour. Is this Nilal? Nilal, yeah. Waterhouse, let me see that. 1-0. One 1-1. Nil. One one. Nilal. 2-1. Yeah, so, um, what else I got to score? So that a one goal put on for Waterhouse and it got in two. I'm going to give the junglist the, the, the one here, people. I'm going to give the junglist the one here. Waterhouse definitely have to come turn up on the day. Waterhouse have to turn up on the day. Fuzzy and crew. Mr. Marcel, Gale and crew have to go turn up on the day and overthrow Tigat and his crew. That's, that's, that's the sentiment. That is football. That is football, people. That is all football is, yeah? Yeah? That is football. That is football, people. So in the comment section, people, tell us what you think about that one. Drop your predictions for that game, people. Now go on it. Um, Junglis them, wicked man said, okay, um, you, you, you know Alien Whitaker. We use, what was the best player of the Under-20 World Cup in 2001, even got then, um, in got turned soldier. That's why I never got to take up any opportunities overseas. I want him get called for the national team. He was playing in the Kasafa Major League. Guna, one T got side, I got dust them. Deacon, I got run pan them. Marlon said, fire us, match I got full. Jungle crowd and firehouse crowd, it a go mad. This should be a good game, people. This should be a, be a good game. I do think I'm supposed to get some free tickets to give away, but I'm not get them yet, so maybe tonight I get them. Maybe this evening I get them, people. So I've got to do live tonight. So I've got, got to do another live tonight, people. Maybe I maybe on IG. Maybe just saying maybe on IG. Just saying maybe on IG, I've got to do live tonight. So, people, that concludes... That concludes what seems to be uh, the JPL preview show, which have gone one and a half hour, basically. Hopefully, you guys have gotten some level of information, and it means something to you guys. And I'm begging you guys. We have we have almost a thousand person view the chat, view the view the video. Uh, we never reach a hundred likes. Rough, rough out here. <laughs> Wicked man, I'm a rival, right, but we know them. I go run upon them. Yeah, man, I hate that, man. Anyways, people, I'm going to close off now. Going to close off right now. So, at present moment, that is the situation, people. 
So it close off every single thing. Don't forget people to support the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe link is in the comment section. Support the GoFundMe link, people. It is it in the comment section. It's in the comment section. Um, definitely. We want to do more coverage. Want to see how best we can. Cause remember, the tier two are coming up in the people. Next week, tier two are play. Next week, tier two players are well, tier two players start already. And I do believe that True Juice is gonna play next. So you guys will be seeing some live games on mg sports tv live games coming up people live games coming up a boop, 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 boop. don't know so once a live game live football i'm gonna try though so we can get get in some commentary i'll try my best if i can get in some commentary on this aspect if not live game pre-record games and maybe add some commentary commentary to, to it um but definitely looking forward to bring back, bring back some live games of the tier 2 competition uh, Wicked Man Brothers, the tier 2 needs to get an Instagram account, brother. <laughs> ah, um, Guna, we know you get enough info you never know before. I, what do you mean by that? Um, tier 2 needs to get an Instagram account. I do think so. I would agree. I would agree that they need to be a bit more public in what they do. A lot of people don't know what's taking place and I'm not going to take that up on myself. My hand full. My hand full. Um, I am answered. Big up Clarendon, the football parish. <laughs> Anyways, people, big up. Massive respect, people. We're, we're coming out now. We're jumping out. So look out for live football. Live football coming back to MG Sports. Even though you know it's a schoolgirl football and anything they are going. But big up, people. MG Sports TV. We are out. Boom.